We take a look now at a novel competition that's helping to tempt young people towards a career in motorsport engineering. Budding engineers will head for Silverstone this July for a competition that puts the next generation of racing brains through their paces. It's called Formula Student and it's open to university students from around the world. Much the same as last year's event, the competing students had to design and build a single-seater racing car. And then take it to the world-famous circuit of Silverstone, where they go racing. Being at Silverstone and competing on an international kind of level is, is great for us, especially from North America. We don't exactly have the same level of motorsports out there. It's a way for young engineers to actually get in there and have a practice of designing a component on SOLIDWORKS or some CAD program, get in there, build it, and then potentially race it. And if it breaks, that's fine, you learn from that. As well as flatline speed, the cars are tested on endurance, manoeuvrability, safety, and fuel efficiency. But for most, it's the 22km endurance event that's by far the most gruelling. As much as you work and work and work, it'll make or break a team in terms of this, the points and, and it's, it's probably the longest you know, 30 minutes of your life. <laughs> Last year's winners from the University of Stuttgart in Germany beat the field convincingly. Being an established team, work is already underway on their 2009 car. Um, we didn't expect to win that, uh, that great competition, so we were really happy about that and it was really exciting to win the first competition and we hope we can do that again. Not all teams have the resources of the Stuttgart entry. Team Sussex from England is one fledgling team hoping that with improved funding this year, they can take on the might of the Germans. The University of Stuttgart have got a team in place that's been going for years now. They've got a good knowledge base and they can build year upon year on their progress. For us, coming in as a new team, we really need to meet that uh, standard of quality straight away, which is going to be a big challenge. Um, especially when budgets and things like that come into play, and as is about a tenth of theirs. In order to win, they'll have to work tirelessly in the coming months, making smart decisions along the way, and perhaps heed the advice of last year's winners. I don't think that money makes really the big difference. I think like if Team Sussex has a good team, where everyone is working really hard and everyone drives really hard, then they can be a really good competition this year. It's very important to keep things simple in the beginning to build a, a race car that is reliable, that to spend the money you have on things which makes you fast and reliable. This is the important thing. If building a race car wasn't enough, each team will have to prove their business acumen. From paper to product, they'll be required to treat the competition as a real-life brief and will even be tested on this by presenting design and cost reports at the event. The Formula Student Competition is about a lot more than just the race. Um, there is an enormous um, marketing challenge, business challenge, engineering challenge to make sure that the um, car is built to time, schedule, um, to requirements of the sponsors. For most of these students, the ultimate aim will be to gain a career in top flight motorsport. And this competition is a chance to rub shoulders with some of the best. Some of the, the innovation and some of the lateral thinking that goes on, not always successfully, but that's not the point. People are trying and I think it's a great, great entry this year. Uh, Formula Student's been an excellent sort of stepping stone for me into Formula One, where I now work. Uh, and now I actually actively recruit Formula Student competitors to work for me um, in the team. Behind every winning driver lies a team of highly skilled engineers. And this competition is ensuring that the sport remains stopped with the future generation of technical talent.